another beautiful Saturday afternoon here in Missoula, Montana. Your Scripps Sports Saturday Showdown, a battle of two top 25 teams. It's the Northern Arizona University Lumberjacks coming in ranked 24th in the nation. As they take on the Montana Grizzlies, now ranked 14th in the country. Today's game, a renewal of this rivalry that dates back to 1966. And oh, by the way, it is homecoming here in Missoula. J1 Evans and Darvin Hubbard. And Grant Glasgow, a little squid kick picked up by one of the up, up men. And boy, big collision right at the 32 yard line. And that's where the Lumberjacks will put it in play. Looks like the ball may have, well, we got a little fracas going. A rough week last week. Let's see if he can shore it up here today. Here is London giving off in the backfield and hit for a loss. Caho in. 302 pound junior. Big reason the Montana's rush game has been so prolific. Here's the pass across the middle. Breaking the tackle is Keelan White. We mentioned him in the open, Marty. He can break those. Williams in on the defense there. Here comes Nick Osmo up close to the first down. I think he has it from their vantage point here, right near the 45-yard line. And in fact, they're moving the chain. So Montana gets the ball and clicks on. Right now, third and one. You can see the Lumberjacks right up tight on that line of scrimmage. And there goes Aaron Fonts in motion. Given the backfield and stopped for a loss of a yard. Nick Osmo that time. What a and fourth down. Eli Gilman in the backfield. Low snap. That ball is fumbled as Fife gets hit and is picked up. And off to the races go the Lumberjacks. And it's going to be a touchdown for NAU. Brandon Wong as Fife got hit. The ball came loose and just fluttered there for a second. Alex McClurth and one. Not only did they stop him, you can get another look at it as McLaughlin nails Fife and off to the races goes Wong. Montana finding themselves behind a similar feel. We've had that turnover and adding seven points right away with 8.36 left here in the first quarter. A 54-yard fumble. Montana after giving up the turnover touchdown, trailing 7-0. Fife looking deep, finds... Soya Racanelli, good for the first down across the 35 out near the 39 yard line. Harak. Second and 10. Gilman does not get the handoff. Fife goes deep and finds loose on the sidelines. It is Soya Racanelli again. Same play, Jay. And then he should down the field. Another good look at it here. Al Ashford the third finally making the tackle and forcing Racanelli out of bounds, but not before he picked up 38 yards. So Montana now inside the red zone. Ball resting at the 12-yard line. Fake. Here's the give up the guilt to Gilman up the middle. Look at him fight for extra yarders as he in a first time inside the ABA Law Group red zone. That's going nowhere. The give to Gilman and he goes down hard. So that'll bring up a second and goal now. Three from about the five. Let's see what play Brett Peace has designed for this situation. It's going to be a quick pass. It's knocked down by the outside. It looked like McLaughlin with the hand up again. So Alec McLaughlin, the super. He did the right thing there. Timed his jump beautifully. Uh, failed third down in the red zone for the Grizzlies. Ty Morrison in to try the field goal. It's up and good from 22 yards out. And the cannon tells you it was success as they try to add to this lead. 7-3 in the early going. Running back, going to throw it out into the flat to the back that's covered again. The Montana defense is there for the stop. Well short of the first down. Is the tackle made again by Gordon. That was stopped for a three-yard loss. Nearly blocked the punt. And now if flag flies, it will be roughing the kicker, I'm pretty sure, as the ball falls and... Bergen will have to let it go at the 33. Let's check the flag. Foul. Rushing the kicker. Defense. 15-yard penalty. First down. Against Drew Klump out of Missoula. That was our head referee, Scott Root. He's from Southern California. And he took him out low. And that will cause a mistake by the punt coverage team. Here's the pitch. And going around room. the far corner is B.J. Fleming, and he has running room and is still on his feet across midfield, out of bounds at the 46-yard line of Montana. And in the redshirt junior quarterback at a pine top Lakeside, Arizona. And he'll take it off and run this time. We mentioned his good size, 6'3", 220. 
So Coach uh, Brian Wright, he's incorporating a little wildcat. As you said, well designed by Coach Brian Wright to take the pressure off this quarterback making just his sec first start. London now will go on the... <laughs> Let's see if he can get there on his feet as he crosses the 20. He has good running skills, too. You saw it there. Cashman are finally making a tackle for Mud. A little more wildcat. Let's see what they have up their sleeve. The direct snap goes to Isaiah Eastman again. Montana up to the task. It's going to be close, but maybe a half yard short. Ryan Terrell making the tackle for Montana. Fourth and one. Split backs in the backfield. London hands it. There's no running room at all. And he breaks out of it after a while. Good second effort there by the running back for. That's Fo Ho Ching, the junior out of Upland. California and Keen Loud, the cornerback. They had him stopped quickly, but Ho Ching was able to bust it out of there. What a great run! Look at this big man! He's got some lower body strength fumble. London just pounces on the loose ball. So you're down to your third or fourth. Lone back behind him. He will get the no, it's London that's gonna keep it close to the goal line. Did not get in, right? Maybe an inch or two short. Yeah, you're right, Jay. It's Please, NAU leading it 7-3. That's how far it is to the goal line in Pater. P.J. London, your quarterback, gets the snap. False start, Jay. The crowd is an issue down in the north end zone for opponent. They have caused 14 false starts up till now in the season. Make it 15 false starts. So that crowd noise backs them up to the six. Third and goal. In motion goes White, the tight end. Here's London. He's going to be in trouble and sacked. Riley Wilson. Riley Wilson unaccounted for a, a, a block situation if you're short a guy up front on a field goal. This will be a 33-yard attempt by Marcus Lai. Kick is up. And from here, it looks like he does split the upright. So we're going to break. It's a 10-3, seven-point lead now. For Defense has held the Grizz to just over 100 yards in about a quarter and a half. Let's we'll see if they can keep it up. Five getting some pressure, throwing it, finding. Oh, Ooh. he dropped the ball. It looked like Fonts. Aaron Fonts. Fonts was open. Beautiful for the Lumberjacks on that play. Huge third and long. London just one of four, passing for minus two yards. Drops back. And he finds open man in the flat. Hit right at the first down marker. Riley Wilson with a crushing hit, but I believe the Lumberjacks. The Lumberjacks. Now he's going to roll off to his left, looking for some help. And is rushed out of bounds right up near the 37-yard line. Pat Hayes of this Lumberjack defense. I'm not sure I'm buying that now. That tackle also made by Tommy Ellis there, one of their four captains for the Lumberjacks. Here's five across the middle. Oh, big hit. Penalty flag flies. Five. What will the call be? He's going to go deep. Double coverage. Intended out there for Racanelli. No penalty flags down, so good job by the Lumberjack defense to force a punting situation. Zach Lewis back to get this punt from Ty Morrison. Big spiraling kick. Fair catch called for by Eastman at the 41-yard line. Well, the Lumberjacks are making their first trip here to Missoula since 27. McGee returning a punt for a touchdown. All right, here's London now. He finds his man. White, the tight end, and he's across the 50 into Montana territory before the tackle is made by Ryder Meyer. Yeah, nice play selection again by Cody on the scoring range. First down for the Lumberjacks brought to you by Tyre Rama. London, a little pitch behind him. This is B.J. Fleming loose on the sidelines and finally tackled by Ronald Jackson. But Fleming also gets the first down, and there is a penalty flag. Let's check the infraction. The flag came in. The ball right outside the red zone at the 22-yard line. Here is London, and he's going to keep it and puts a move on it. Gets right past Ryder Meyer. Not before he was rushed out of bounds. Another flag by Krishan Gordon and another flag comes in first and ten just outside the ten yard line here's the give tripped up but a good move there by let's see this is going to be fascinating right here these next couple plays second and goal the give to Hubbard 
Hit right at the line, but bounces off and gets down close to the five yard line. Doorstep of that loud north end zone here in Washington Grizzly. London back to pass, has plenty of time. Ooh, tipped out of there, nearly intercepted. A couple of Grizz had a chance at it. Ryder Meyer and Ryan Tyrrell. But the fall's incomplete, will bring up fourth and back end line. Yeah, that was terrible. Tyrrell that had his hands on the ball. 24 yard field goal attempt, and Lai is perfect right down the middle. And he gives Northern Arizona a 10 minute lead to a manageable third down. Clock running now towards the one minute mark. Here is Fife throwing, but nowhere near the first down. That's Racanelli, Alec McLaughlin again, the super sophomore as he's showing. It. Type of situation here at the end of half. Ty Morrison will punt. Shank. Shank out of the corner of his foot and goes out of bounds early, maybe on the Montana side of the 50. Drive the ball downfield at least one time, I suspect, to get any points out of this. London back. He gets out of the pressure. Now he's going to run it across the 50 out to the 40, and he's tackled inbounds by. I don't know why Coach wouldn't have called a timeout there. And that's the end of the first half, ladies and gentlemen. No, they let him go to half. That, that was odd. Running. That was really, really odd that Coach Wright would have done that. Uh, or he's just saying, hey, I want to go in to the locker room at halftime in Washington Grizz Stadium up Tana. Is very fortunate to be only 10 points down at halftime, Jay. The kick will go into the end zone. Back deep for Montana was Aaron Fonts. Kyle Hansen with the big third and five here. So Fife dropping back, looking over the middle, finding a tight end. And complete for Montana, Barker. Eric Barker, his first catch in this ball game. Fife overlooks the defense now as he makes a hand signal for Osmo in the back. Now he does a little play action. Pass, complete. Looks like Keelan White calls it in. Another first down for Montana. Their second straight here to start the second half. Here's the give to Osmo. Breaks in the outside at the 40. Has Green running room down across the 30 where he's finally tackled down near the 27 yard line by set on the far side of the field as five calls the signals. Looking, looking for Bergen. Finds him at the 20 and out of bounds. Looks like he has the first down. We mark him out. Five. And a double pass, a pitch back to Osmo at the 20, at the 10, may have the first down. They mark him out inside the five. What a play that was, Marty. That's a little deep into the playbook. Yeah, we talked about it earlier, Brent. And the give to Osmo again, close to the goal line. And saying he's a bit short. Lewis. And they, they had three big tight ends in there on that play. There's the sneak. You see no sign yet. As they unpile him, let's see what they say. Touchdown. Montana finally cashing in. A delayed call. But the touchdown is on the board, so that's going to help the Montana fans get back in the game. But Northern Arizona, they, they put up a stiff defense and made the Grizzlies work for that drive. Now, I'll tell you, this is going to be an interesting series coming up after this PAT. Ty Morrison to add the extra point, and it's perfect. Cue the cannon. We're going to break. Montana back in the game. They trail it by the indoor practice facility is now open and up for operation. The bubble is up. You had the ribbon cutting. Just speak to that and having that go. I'm going to let you go because we have a big play happen. Colby Katsis is going to take it on the pitch and go to the house. Another back-breaking play. Almost on call every time we go to the field for an interview. Yeah. We get a back-breaking play from Montana, but how about that? And all the way over to the right, a little bit more of a wild cat type of situation. And they just simply hand it off and they put a hat on a hat. They keep outside leverage and then he just breaks one tackle and he hits his head on the goalpost. Colby Katz's redshirt junior adds a huge run, an 88 yard touchdown run. Setting last night as they flew in. Let's see if the Grizzlies offense can keep the offensive momentum going. Here's the give to Xavier Harris, who's trying to find some running room around the far side. Gets, oh, got a first down at the backfield. Gilman and Stevie Rocker. Pipe will drop back, has some pressure. Now he's going to try to run for it. He has Eli Gilman loose on the sidelines, but he throws it out of bounds. 
and a hit out of bounds, and here come the penalty flags. That was too obvious. There on Fife, and then they've got uh, a mirror. After the play, personal foul, defense number 14. 15-yard penalty, previous spot, first down. Now goes, look, I, I, the, the head coach, Coach Brian Wright for NAU is territory across the midfield stripe. Fife will hand it off to Gilman. Gilman stutter step, looking for some running room. And he has some as he changes direction across the 40 and caught from behind right as he got to the 30-yard line. He had blockers in front. Credit NAU. We've still got many, many games to go. Fife with some pressure, unloads it, finds a man. Keelan White, good for a first. He had a slant over the top of the run. He decided, Fife decided to hand it to the runner. Third and five inside the red zone. Fake to Gilman, Fife. Throwing, finds, out of bounds. That's good for a first down. Racanelli. Racanelli. First and goal. Here's Fife. He's going to keep in. it on the walk in. Little play action pass. No one had the quarterback. And that's a touchdown for the Montana Grizzlies. And, and it's fireworks here in the third quarter at Washington Grizz Stadium. Touchdown, touchdown, touchdown. Here's the bootleg play. Opportunity bank goes. You love this. Both defenses are very, very aggressive. Here's Ty Morrison's PAT. Splits the uprights. In motion, Lanier. Here comes some pressure. London sprints out to the left. Directing traffic. He has room for the first down, and he gets it out to the 42. Man, he's got a little athletic. Red line at the 49. Should be a direct snap. It's a direct snap. Eastman. Grizzlies make an adjustment. They get Isaiah Eastman to the ground after a short game. Us, only from TDS. He just about broke that last play. He had a little bit of daylight. Jay Hubbard's a good runner. That was a big third and two pickup for the Lumberjacks at the last call by the official. London, Grizzlies bring some pressure. He's running for his life and he's free. Throws it, incomplete as Riley Wilson was all over him, along with Pat Hayden chasing him all the way out to the sideline. Yeah, Pat Hayden. Check it, 47-yard attempt by Marcus Lai, young man from Australia. Snap is down, the hold is, and the kick is no good. Wide left. So the score remains 20 to 17. Receivers out to the right side. Fife looking, running, looking for his man. Nearly intercepted. Keelan White, the intended receiver on the far side. That should bring up a punting situation for Montana. Canyon Moses. As well, and they're backed up inside their own 20. I'm talking about the one. Here comes, it looks like a full blitz. Here's London with the ball. Stopped as he gets across the 20. He'll be a yard, maybe a yard and a half short of the line to gain. Before Jackson Lee got him to the prize. The coach typically has reasons to do one of those if he so chooses. Marcus Lai, the punter, will punt. And Junior Bergen is back to receive. This is a beautiful punt by Lai. Forces Bergen back to his 25, where if Osman and Gilmore, Gilman had absolutely the same number of carries on the season. They like to break it up. Here comes Osmo through the middle. Depends on the spot. Eight in games. Montana with that first and ten. Fife wants to go deep. He throws out to the flat to Junior Bergen. Penalty flag flies. Bergen can not haul it in. Let's see. Going to be holding is the initial call against Canyon Moses, perhaps. Yeah, Moses was right there uh, on Bergen. Defense number eight. Ten-yard penalty. Previous spot. Automatic first down. He was right there on Bergen on now, Rob, but really Fife wanted hard. Fourth quarter. Fife. Perhaps changing the play. Quick pass out. That's Junior Bergen at the 50, still on his feet. Has another Montana first down, it appears. Moses and Wong in on the stop for the Lumberjacks. Fife across the middle. In and out of the hands of Barker. Big hit there. And a penalty flag flies. Could be roughing the passer. Let's see. 15-yard penalty. Automatic first down. At the red zone. 
They're at the 26. Play action to Eli Gilman. Gilman's still on his feet. Breaks, breaking tackles across the 15 for another Montana first down. Another to the other side of five. Snap to five. Throwing. Touchdown, Montana. Junior Bergen. Wow, that was zero blitz, full blitz by the Lumberjacks of NAU. And a opportunity bank replay. The replay. Look at Logan Five place this right on the money to Junior. 11 yard touchdown, his second receiving touchdown. Also 23 20 Montana with the lead. Now it's 24 to 20. That was a big extra. We'll let the crowd tell you what happens. London avoids the would be tackler. Has he enough for the first down? I don't believe so. Not even close. I will tell you, London has great. All right, here they go. Fourth and two. Incomplete. I don't see any penalty flags. London off the mark on that pass. Intended for Isaiah Eastman. The oh. receiver's got. Nick Osmo. Lone back in the backfield. Now in motion. Give is to Osmo up the middle. Across the 25. Down to the 22. Should be enough. Maybe just short of the first down. No, they're Aaron Fonts now in motion. Five. With Font. Will pass. Has lots of running room across the 20. Who's him out at the 15? Stays on his feet. And out of bounds he goes at the six. Aaron Fonts. Big play from Aaron Fonts. I will tell you, if you throw the ball, you do it in this fashion. You must complete the ball to keep that clock rolling. The great Aaron Fonts, you can see his athleticism, jumping ability to the other and it's very difficult to track in man or zone. 19 yard pickup gives Montana a first and goal to get to Osmo. It's down to the one, maybe the two before he's collared. And, and it's five keeping it. Touchdown, Montana, yeah. that might put it away. Yeah, the game's over. That was a read option. Everybody, everybody and their mother collapsed along Oslo and fight rightly did the right thing. Interesting to see our man P.J. London in a two-minute drive, though. Uh, even though he's down by two scores, that'll be great experience. I'm not sure I would light the cigar just yet. Logan Fife with his... Kick is up. And the kick is good. Cue the cannon. The cannon. Jay, light, light the cigar off. Two. Here's London out of the backfield. Hit. Stays on his feet. Finally brought down by Jackson again, but also help from Riley Wilson and Cajo. Ry Cajo in on the tackle for Montana. And that clock continues to run down to 1.10 left. In three to tie the game up. Fourth and three. We need it here. London rolling out to his right. Nearly tackled. Still on his feet. Crosses the 40. Ball is loose. Montana recovers it. Ronald Jackson. Oh, check that. Jackson Lee. Jackson Lee recovered it. Ronald Jackson on the hit. And Jackson Lee there to recover it. Jackson Lee out of Missoula Sentinel via the Flint Creek Spartans. Yeah, the, the Grizz fans are in the celebratory mode now. The NAU fans are looking down and to the right. Here's the replay of it. Here's the hit by Jackson and the pickup by Lee. And the NAU fans are kind of stunned. This game turned very quickly about the middle of the fourth quarter. Put a hat right on the ball there. Yeah, yeah, it's cake time for the for the Montana fans. Ice cream time, pull ice cream out. Uh, you know, get the dog a little. State, the Bengals come to the walk-up Sky Dome. Montana gets this victory and goes into their bye week. It will be a nice week off for the team, the coaches, the fans. Everyone needs to take a breather. The season is alive and well. Here's coach Bobby Houck making the way across the field to give his congratulations to Brian right there they are. What a game plan NAU had. They sure Down did. to their third string quarterback, scrapping, doing everything they could. They just came up a bit short here as the Montana Grizzlies got their offense rolling at the right time. If you coach long enough, you're gonna be in that situation where you're down to your third, fourth quarterback, or in my case, we fly a guy in on Wednesday and he's gonna be starting on Sunday. And then you <laughs> you must game plan it just like Brian Wright did and with a, with a breaker.